and uh, make another little update today. I'm trying to use today to catch up on some videos since I am going to be gone again for another week and I haven't been making any videos for a while. And unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot to update here um, on my particular shed, but I will go over just the uh, small couple things that I've done. Um, I tried to make, a, or actually I did make a video today at Site M of their new shed because it's uh, in the up and coming stages as well. He's working on the inside and uh, it's coming along pretty, pretty nicely and something happened to the video when I got home there was no more file of it so I'll have to go remake that video here sometime shortly when I get back but um, the biggest change really that's, that I've been working on which now I'm at a stopping point due to it is the electrical. Um, I am getting that part permitted just so that there are no issues. So as far as what I've done has been basically digging up uh, this really deep trench and I have a 50 amp um, breaker that's coming from my main panel right down there and it uh, is going down through the stucco to the crawl space underneath the house and then it comes underneath the house it's all stapled up under here and then it comes in and comes out right here where all the uh, ACs are and I have it just going into conduit going straight down under my drainage pipe and I've got an 18 inch uh, trench that goes all the way through and then I've got the uh, electrical service that comes up right here through the bottom. So I'll go inside here. And you can see we've got the sub panel in and I uh, got a couple outlets wired up. Um, service just comes right up through here. And um, as what I need to get going now is just getting the permit for the uh, the sub panel and the outlets and that's all that I'm basically telling them is that this is going to be a storage shed slash workshop. So I've got, um, this is on its own separate circuit right here, 15 amp circuit. And then I've got uh, three two gang boxes, one there, one there, one there. Those are all on a 20 amp circuit and you can see I've got the wires all routed, um, tied up through the attics, through the wall, daisy chained together. So I just need to now wait and get the city to come over here and do the inspection and once they buy off on what I've got done here I can pretty much push forward with the rest of the insulation, the sheeting, and uh, getting all the rest of the lighting and stuff, air conditioner hooked up. Um, there will be a couple, quite a few more videos coming here shortly once the rest of that equipment and everything starts coming in. But right now I just haven't had a whole lot going on because I've just been working on doing a lot of the trenching and a lot of the electrical. Um, because I do need to get to basically this stopping point here before I push forward. Um, just because I don't want the city to ask any more questions about any of the other electrical items that will be hooked up in here. So that's pretty much going to be that. So we'll come together here pretty shortly. Unfortunately, I do have to leave again right as I get this up. So first couple days, once I get back, we'll get that permit going. And then we'll really start knocking forward with getting the rest of uh, the shed here knocked out. I'm hoping that within three, maximum four weeks to have everything completely done. And uh, so I'm excited to actually start talking about inside here. So that's pretty much that. I'm sorry that this video is not uh, any more exciting, but I promise here coming soon, uh, if they ever stop sending me on trips for work, that we will have uh, cool stuff to go in here. Um, it won't be nearly as exciting at the, at the very beginning as I thought it would be, but we're working towards that. And uh, I think by the end of the year, definitely you're gonna be in a very, very good place. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Other than that, we'll see you next time.